I've landed at Dubai DXP, Dubai International Airport. It's now midnight. All right, it's already getting hot here over here. Uh, one of the first things to do is first uh, go through customs and then take a cab to the hotel, which is approximately 10 minutes away from the airport. So that's pretty close to the airport and pretty close to the World Trade Center because that's what I'm heading to. All right, so the reason for my trip is Critical Communications World here in Dubai. The last time was 2018. Uh, I can remember that event because I was traveling with the Dubai police in order to find out how they were communicating during their duty. from the Motorola Solutions uh, press room over there. As you can see, uh, this is Critical Communications World 2024 here in Dubai. But today it's gonna to be a special day um, because it's not only the 24th time Critical Communications World is happening, but it's also a moment that Motorola is unveiling the latest solution of combining Tetra and LTE. Uh, and I, I know, and I know, they made things quite easy for their existing Tetra users. And that's what it's all about. Easy migration from one technology to the other technology. And that's what I'm going to unveil. As I said, seven minutes, first cup of coffee. So what we want to introduce today is the kind of sort of interoperability, um, enhancing redundancy with LMR and broadband. So what we've thought about for years is we basically cover quite big areas with our systems. But there are some areas that are harder to get to, so as underground, um, basements, in buildings, very dense city areas. Um, so we I'm now walking to at to the booth of Motorola Solutions. Now, there's one little thing. We should have a press tour, but at any moment in time right now, uh, the Sheikh of Dubai, His Excellency, is arriving at the booth. So everybody's preparing for that. Uh, and that's extremely important, of course. Um, so I will just have to wait a little bit with my interview that I will have with Stuart to talk about this new Tetra radio and with Katja or maybe somebody else about this new Dimetra system. at this show alongside the MXP660 is this fantastic new feature called Dimetra Connect which allows people who are using Dimetra networks to roam onto other types of networks, Wi-Fi with some devices and with the new MXP660 to use LTE as well. So the big change with this device is that we've added uh, LTE inside it and the ability for people to put their own SIM card inside and then that means that if you happen to be roaming off the Tetra network, for example, you are in a city like Dubai where the rate of construction is absolutely massive and there's a new building gone up, perhaps you have a slight Tetra black spot, well the radio device will automatically shift you across onto the new Dimetra Connect feature using the LTE connection inside. The only real difference between this and the MXP600 from a user point of view, and I don't know whether this will come up on the camera, is that you still you now have an extra icon there that's showing the Dimetra Connect. Yeah. So we've got an extra icon that's showing that Dimetra Connect is there and it's enabled. At the moment we're talking on Tetra, so I can push the PTC and talk on Tetra. If I was to go into a black spot or I'll simulate it by just taking the antenna off this device, You'll see that in a second the radio signal will drop away, this icon will change, and now I can push to talk. And we're talking still sending touch packets but over the IP networks into a Dimetra system using LTE. The key for us is that we 
spoke with users about what they want from a device. How do they see themselves using this? They don't want to spend lots of money on retraining users in how to use a new device, in how to come up with a new device concept. In general, the sorts of end users that we work with, they want a rugged, dependable, dedicated communications device that's got a nice loudspeaker inside it, that's got great quality microphones, that's got the accessory connector on the side, the same accessories they know and love. They just want to be able to solve the problem of using that in black spots. And that's very human. People don't want change, right? Yeah. They, they, they're comfortable in what they're using, and that's very important. Don't change or don't fix it if it broke, right? So stay with the stuff you have, stay with the radios you have, uh, and, and integrate seamlessly into a new technology. Exactly, exactly. We've listened to their real pain points, and this is a real pain point for a lot of users, but we're not asking them to compromise on any other aspect of how the device is used or any other aspect of how they go about their operations, because each client is slightly different in the way that they approach their operations. But we're not going to force them to change that to meet the device. We're bringing a device to them that solves a genuine problem that they have. Then I have another question. What about security? Because Tetra is extremely secure. Yes. We all know that. Uh, we also know that LTE is, well, could be less secure. That's the impression of many people. Uh, what did you do to secure that device with regards to LTE network and communications? So there's a uh, secure what's called a TLS connection that is established between this device and the Dimetric Connect server. So that means that the link is secure and encrypted. But of course, you've also got the Tetra capabilities that are built into it. So we're not really changing the Tetra standard, we're just sending it over a different bearer. So we've still got all of the security features that are built into Tetra still being present in this device. It's a win-win situation. Absolutely, and I think that this just goes on to show that Motorola still strongly believes in Tetra. We're continuing to invest in bringing new devices to market. Um, we're continuing to invest in bringing new infrastructure features to market. Tetra is really strong for Motorola. It's really growing. We do continue to invest. So this is Nicole Irvine, and Nicole is going to show me very quickly, in just a two minutes, around the Motorola booth. So, Nicole, so what's on show? What's on show is our three connected areas that show how our technology gathers intelligence, shares that information and helps build evidential packages. Okay. We've got a connected officer, connected vehicle and a connected and protected Let's area. Let's go to the vehicle. Let's go. All right. Okay. Over here is our connected vehicle. And in here we can see we've got our M500 in-vehicle system yes. that allows us to capture evidence as it happens in and around the vehicle. And we've got our um, PS4 Android Auto, which is launched newly at this show. And it allows you to get real-time intelligence in your vehicle, hands-free, so officers can communicate and get intelligence on the go. Then we move over to our connected okay. officer. Let's go there. So our connected officer, when they exit their vehicle, they are completely connected through their radio and their body camera. If an incident occurs, they can hit the emergency button. That body camera at the same time will start recording due to the connection with the radio and allow them to gather evidence in the field and share it over LTE in real time. Yeah, and we created a very nice video about the VM500. Exactly. Uh, just a few months ago, right? Okay, that's interesting. So, and then it goes to... Our connected and protected area, which yes. is our industrial area. So border security, perimeter security, access control. Over here, we can see that yep. if you'd like to follow right. me. Okay. So over here, we've got our connected and protected area. And this shows how our technology can gather intelligence by using CCTV footage to find an unknown vehicle that's entering a premises or a person of interest and share that information with security teams to allow them to act appropriately, close down access and protect your assets. All right, Nicole, thank you very much. Right. Much appreciated. Lovely to see okay, you. Fantastic. Enjoy CCW. Okay, all right, see you. Bye-bye. Thank you for hosting me here at the Motorola Solutions booth. Great solution, Dimetric Connect. Tell me all about it. Sure thing. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Uh, we are very excited to announce Dimetric Connect. 
It will enable extending Tetra coverage to our Dimetra customers by leveraging available broadband networks. So you continue to use Tetra over IP, essentially. And this will enable a lot of new use cases where customers didn't have good Tetra coverage maybe before, like deep inside buildings is one of the use cases. How does that work? You need a radio for that. That's yes. an MSP660, right? That's one of the supported radios. You need a Dimetra Connect enabled Tetra radio. So we have several radios in our portfolio that will support it. And there were one of the new ones that was announced yes. too is the MXP660. It's important that it has access to Wi-Fi or 4G, 5G or LTE, like a uh, broadband. So you need a Tetra radio that has access. So like I said, it can be over Wi-Fi as well. So our MXP600 would be another uh, radio that supports it. That will give you the access to the uh, broadband network. So if a user with the Tetra radio walks outside of the coverage or like uh, enters into an area of poor coverage and there's it, the radio will detect and scan for available broadband networks. If a broadband network is available, it will automatically switch without any user intervention. It's actually completely transparent. If you don't look at the screen at those icons, you wouldn't even notice. But you need to put the SIM in of that network, of course. Yes. Right? So it's kind of, we, we call it like uh, bring your own broadband network. Exactly. So whatever the uh, our customer is available, so for instance a SIM, or like, you know, if they have a Wi-Fi in, in one of the areas that they want to cover now, they, they can configure that. But what about security? Whenever you uh, send uh, the packets over the broadband network, it's encrypted and we're using AES-256. So that is like a industry best practice, right? And standard for uh, data and transit encryption. We also have, of course, uh, implications at the customer side with the gateway. So we need to protect that new uh, connection, right, to the uh, internet. And so we, uh, the solution will come with a firewall that's configured to only let the Dimetra connect traffic through. One other aspect of security is certificate-based authentication from your Tetra radio to the gateway. So that's also a, a new feature that will be rolled out at the same time. When did you guys think about the idea of having this integration of LTE into the Tetra base station? Because so for Dimetra connect, like we, we always started Motorola with solving problems for our customers. So an interesting use case that was presented to us was by firefighters, because they are very often responding to an incident uh, or like to a fire deep inside a building. And especially some of those new buildings don't have good LMR coverage because of the material, maybe it's deep inside the building. So this was one of the early use cases that was presented to us that we can now help because a lot of the new buildings have LTE built in. So uh, firefighters are very excited about it. Now that we announced the, the product here, we're learning more and more use cases, but this was one of the initial ones that was brought to and us. And it makes sense because from the early days, Tetra didn't have enough coverage into basements and those kind of things. Yes. So that when then we have cells and extra, extra coverage cells and so on, but that's not necessary anymore. Exactly. It saves cost so, as well. Yes, it, it does because we use available networks, so you don't need to install new infrastructure. And that's an interesting use case as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.